There's a number of uh, upcoming projects that will be based on this small microcontroller. And uh, flashing the firmware is going to be common throughout uh, all of these. So I thought I would do it once here uh, and have this video uh, become a reference. And the microcontroller in question is uh, the STM32 F103C8T6, affectionately known as the Blue Pill. You've heard me sing the uh, praises of this board uh, before and rightfully so. At $2, it's roughly the same price as an Arduino Nano, but it is much faster, has more memory, and has a very decent analog digital converter. There are a number of ways to flash this small development board. I've chosen the UART method, where we go through the serial communication circuit. Um, why? Uh, because it's uh, made easy. For one thing, you don't need any real special equipment. This $2 uh, USB to TTL cable, which can be uh, found for about two bucks on eBay or AliExpress. That's all you need. And secondly, you don't need a laptop. You can do the flashing with uh, just a smartphone. The first step is to download this app from the Google Play Store. STM32Utils by Martin Lauren, the same developer of HScope. You will see uh, on the top left, first connection. That gives you a small diagram of uh, how to uh, connect the TTL cable to the development board. TTL cable connected just as in the diagram. Bootloader jumper moved over to boot 1. Once the process is completed, that jumper has to go back to boot 0. Plug in the uh, USB cable to the Android device. Depress with a pen the reset button on the board for a moment. Initialize the chipset. Very good. Now the free version of this app will allow you to flash any firmware that is in the uh, internal library as well as any firmware that you may have stored on your device. So the blue cube at the top is the library. We'll scroll through there and find the HS10X oscilloscope for the STM32 for the blue pill and the black pill device version number 5. This is the uh, example that we'll use uh, in this video. We're going to flash that firmware onto the microcontroller. All we have to do at this stage is say flash firmware. Doesn't take very long. Memory write started. Memory write is OK. Firmware is running. At this point, you unplug the USB cable. You disconnect the TTL cable from the board. You reposition the jumper for the bootloader back to boot zero, its original position. And you now have an STM32 board that has uh, been flashed with the proper firmware for your project. It's that easy with this app. It's great. Talk to you guys soon.